likely know someone who has the flu. Many people in our area have already gotten sick, and today one Johnson County school had to cancel class. Our Nathan Vickers is live now in Leewood with what's being done to prevent more students and teachers from getting sick. Nathan. Well, Ellen, taking this extra day off gives uh, the school a chance to spray everything down, sanitize it, wipe it down, and clean everything up, but it's also giving uh, students an extra day of rest. At one point this week, nearly uh, a fifth of the school had to stay home because of illness. And so one family we talked to is thankful the school is taking steps to stop this from spreading. Julie Santos' kids were glad to have a day of rest. The flu swept through her house a little over a month ago. They have had the flu uh, in December. But in the past few weeks, she's spoken with other St. Michael families who are still dealing with illness. The junior high parents, it's been, they were hit really hard and a lot of them were out for like four or five days. That's why the parish canceled class today, postponed a school play and began sanitizing the entire building. Well, we've got our guys over um, essentially wiping down, mopping down uh, every, uh, every surface they can get to. Chris Arth is the parish administrator and has a child in the junior high. He says the school also placed disinfecting foggers, hoping students will return to a clean, germ-free classroom. It was, it was an unusual flu season, so we hope, it, we hope this is it and doesn't come back. Sano is glad the school took action before the bugs spread anymore and that her students can use the extra day to relax. We're happy that hopefully they can clean everything and we can start over. Well, St. Michael did have to cancel a couple of events this week, including a Grandparents' Day event scheduled for today. Uh, but St. Michael is hosting a basketball game this weekend after they clean up the gym. Reporting live in Leewood, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. All right, thank you, Nathan. And the flu is widespread in Missouri and Kansas. The KC Department of Health says at least 10 people have already died in the metro area. And more than 4,500 people have gotten sick. That's more than twice as many as this time last flu season, when there were just...